Some people ask me, you are a Rinpoche, you are a Lama, why you make film? Well, my answer is, thousand years ago, Rinpoches like me, they used to paint thangkas. Those were another way to express wisdom and compassion of the Buddha. Here, I'm doing the same thing, but in, in the up-to-date modern technology. This is my bedroom, and this is my second bedroom. All your altars, you know, all the yeah. movie theaters. <laughs> okay, so what I will do is, maybe you can shoot from here, I don't know, up to you guys. But I'll walk from there, okay? On one of the days I was feeling Probably most schizophrenic about my relationship with Rinpoche, he took me to see Matrix. As in Little Buddha, Keanu Reeves plays a man who chooses to become awake. Whoa. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? You could say Matrix is premised on the very issues a student of Buddhism struggles with. What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? How to see through projections about people and phenomena, how to see things not as they appear, but as they are. Welcome to the real world. Your own nature of mind is radiant, enlightened, and uncontrived. But uh, because we don't know that, because we are so caught up with all kinds of hang-ups and inhibitions and all that, then we lose that radiance. So we get m depressed, emotional, aggressive, all of this. Ideally, we should understand that these are all our imagination so that slowly we build this confidence to walk out of it. It's a beautiful thing to see one's heart open up. The mind expands beyond like a spill from a cup. At this point, we had to return home, which was quite frustrating. All this talk about my inner nature being radiant and enlightened. Well, easy to say, hard to do. And trying to talk with him about it? Forget it. Was it him? Was it me? If only he were more normal. If I was beautiful like you We want our teacher slightly human being. We want him to like what we like. We want him to dislike what we dislike. We want to share things. So this shows there is a certain element that we want him to be not that special. And at the same time, he, he has to be slightly special too. So that's, that's a big difficulty there. If I was beautiful like you, We returned to North America on September 10th, and we woke up on September 11th. When Buddhists talk about suffering, we are not talking about a pain. We are talking about change, the uncertainty. See, when people talk about suffering, they are talking about like a gross pain, like a headache or depression or something. That's that's like already like too late, you know. That's like only after aftermath. 
but in every level there is a change everything is changing and everything is uncertain and that is suffering It was at this point Rinpoche made us an offer. He was leaving for Bhutan in October, and if we wanted to, we could meet him there. It was the perfect invitation, at the perfectly wrong time to travel. I didn't want to want you, but I've got no choice. It's too late to listen to that warning voice. All I hear is thunder where our two hearts meet. Doing 90 miles an hour. Every road to Bhutan meant a journey through the trigger-happy heart of the universe. Pakistan has accused India of escalating the exchange of shellfire in Kashmir. Relations have deteriorated ever since both countries carried out nuclear tests in May. Pakistan claims that last week they nearly came to war with India. At Friday prayers, there were special thanks to Allah for the bomb. The stakes had gone up from the aggression of soccer hooligans to the brutality of armies. In a way, the war was like an exaggerated rendering of my own egotism. I realized none of us will have true happiness until we learn to deal with our mind, because the mind is the starting point of all suffering, entrenched views, closed hearts, and prejudice. On behalf of the film crew, I asked Rinpoche to do a mo, and his answer was this. How do you know when a straight answer is a straight answer with them? Well, you don't. I mean, that's part of the problem, isn't it? <laughs> Signs are flashing past us now. We pay no heed. Instead of slowing down the pace, we keep on picking up the speed. Disaster's getting faster every time. 